guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. Today I am going to be showing you guys three braces friendly foods. So if you just got braces on your teeth, they're going to be pretty sore for about a week. And then there's lots of foods that you just like can no longer eat after you get braces, especially like the first couple weeks. So all these foods I'm going to be showing you today are super soft, easy to make foods, and they're delicious. They are so good and they don't hurt your teeth. So if you just had maybe even if you like didn't even get braces if you maybe had your wisdom teeth removed or you just have like adjustment or you just your teeth are really sore and you need something soft these are really soft foods and they don't hurt to chew most of them you pretty much just kind of uh, drink or you can just suck on so these are really delicious braces friendly foods so anyway let's get started right, so the first food is a fruit smoothie and this is really great for breakfast and it's also pretty healthy so you're just gonna pour some yogurt into a blender about a cup this is no measurements just kind of amount you want and then you're gonna add another cup of fruit I decide to add raspberries and it's optional I decide to add some protein powder and you can add some milk if you like your smoothies a little bit thinner And just blend it until you get the consistency you like and pour it into a glass. Not only is this really great for your teeth if they hurt, but this is also pretty healthy. Alright, so next thing is a pasta alfredo, and I love alfredo, so first you're just going to boil some noodles. These are just some I already had, and just use spaghetti noodles because these are easier to kind of chew on and suck on if your teeth are really hurting. And then you're going to put it on a pan with low heat and add some half and half or cream of some sort and just stir it around to coat all the noodles in that cream. Then you're going to add some cheese. I decided to add Asiago and Parmesan, and you're going to add more cream. I know it looks like a lot, but it actually soaks up after it heats for a little while I guess you could say and you're gonna add salt and pepper to taste and just continue to stir and I decided to add some dried rosemary and some spices and herbs but that's completely optional add what you like I just like adding basil and rosemary because it gives a really earthy nice taste to the pasta as you can see it gets really creamy and thick and you get a really nice creamy sauce and top it off with a little more parsley or rosemary whatever you'd like to top it off with and you're done Alright, so the next one is a dessert parfait, and yeah, this is not healthy, and it's just two ingredients. It's pudding and whipped cream, and you're just going to continue to layer pudding and whipped cream, and you can make homemade whipped cream, and use any sort of pudding that you like, and you're done. You can top it off with more stuff, or you can just leave it plain. This is really good, though. Watching this video, hope that you enjoyed it, and I also did a previous video talking about all the things that you should know before you get braces, and I'm going to link that right up here in the eye, so you can go check that out once you're done watching this one, and make sure that you also subscribe and share this video with your friends, especially the ones that are going to be getting braces soon, or that recently got braces, and they're like, oh crap, what can I eat? There's also, you can pretty much eat everything still a couple weeks after you get your braces, I mean, things like candy are not ideal, but... When you first get your braces on your teeth, they really do hurt. Mine really hurt. And I was like, what can I eat? <laughs> and I really wish I would have known these recipes when I first got my braces on a couple months ago. But I will see you all in my next video. Bye!